Germany removes sanctions from Turkey After Turkey recently lifted its two-year state of emergency, the German government announced it would no longer renew the 1.5 billion euros limit on export guarantees. They also removed travel warnings from the government website. Turkey and the Netherlands have also recently restored diplomatic relations. Our hearts are warmed by your neighborly relations, Turkey, Germany and the Netherlands. May you all enjoy a future filled with peace and happiness in heaven's blessings. Saudi Arabia and Eritrea joined to strengthen partnership during a meeting in the Saudi Arabian city of Jeddah, Foreign Minister of Eritrea, His Excellency Osman Saleh Mohammed, and Foreign Minister of Saudi Arabia, His Excellency Adol al Jubair, held talks on deepening bilateral ties, especially in the areas of trade and investment. The two ministers also discussed the harmonious progress between Eritrea and Ethiopia, as well as Eritrea and Somalia, and Foreign Minister al Jubair pledged Saudi Arabia's support in the peaceful development. We joyfully celebrate your enhanced relations, Your Excellencies Adol al Jubair and Osman Saleh Mohammed, Saudi Arabia and Eritrea. May your joint future endeavors create fruitful and rewarding developments for both of your cooperative nations. Lake with liquid water discovered on Mars. Researchers from the Italian Space Agency have discovered a 20-kilometer wide lake on the southern polar cap of Mars. The massive lake was detected about 1.5 kilometers under ice using radar instruments on board the European Space Agency's Mars Express Orbiter. It is the first time that a stable body of water has been detected on the Red Planet, Mars Express Project scientist Dr. Dimitri Titov stated. This thrilling discovery is a highlight for planetary science and will contribute to our understanding of the evolution of Mars, the history of water on our neighbor planet and its habitability. Fascinating Mars Express Project scientists, may we continue to learn about amazing Mars and happily prepare for the blessed time of visits and communication between us. Pakistan's new Prime Minister vows to plant 10 billion trees. Prime Minister of Pakistan, His Excellency Imran Khan, has promised to plant 10 billion trees within five years to restore ecological balance. The plan is an extension of the Billion Tree Tsunami Project initiated in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province of northwestern Pakistan. Ali Takir Sheikh, founder, and CEO of Research Group Leadership for Environment and Development Lead Pakistan said, We have one of the largest deltas in the world, but it is dying because of climate change. Irrespective of the number of trees planted, it is important for our country, which has so many other challenges, to have the lungs to support our environment. Green tears for His Excellency Imran Khan and all those involved in the campaign to plant 10 billion trees. May this impressive environmental endeavor, along with the global adoption of the vegan lifestyle, safeguard our precious earth and her every inhabitant. Mexican state plans to ban plastic bags, straws, and styrofoam. The Mexican state of Jalisco plans to implement the ban to safeguard the environment and marine life once the law is passed by the state congress. All 125 municipalities will be required to adapt to the new ruling. In 2019, stores will be notified of the changes and have a year to use up their existing supply. Starting the beginning of 2020, the ban will be in full effect with fines for non-compliance. The state government will take measures to support the new ruling, such as encouraging technologies to provide alternatives 
and enhancing recycling programs as well as helping to raise public awareness of the issue. This is wonderful news, Halisco. May you have great success in your eco-protective law, helping to create a sustainable planet. Welcome back to Noteworthy News, encouraging news for a hope-filled world. Vegan ice cream debuts in Kenya. Foods free from brand of non-dairy ice cream, which is also sugar-free, is now being sold in Food Plus, a prominent supermarket in Nairobi, the capital city of Kenya. The plant-based frozen dessert is available in five flavors, strawberry, double chocolate, avocado, mint and brownie, tamarillo and peanuts, caramel and chocolate, these delectable offerings are an addition to the vegan foods free from line of baked goods such as brownies and quick breads created by Katya Horwitz Kanigna. She has an active Facebook page on which she posts vegan recipes and tips. Congratulations on your new vegan ice creams, Katya Horwitz Kanigna, and your ongoing plant-based food creations. We wish you all the best in demonstrating to the lovely people of Kenya how delicious and helpful vegan treats can be. Elephants help forests to flourish. Researchers predominantly from Thailand studied the pattern of fruit consumption, seed distribution, and germination of a member of the custard apple family called Platymetra macrocarpa. It was found that while elephants consume only 3% of the fruit available, they contribute to 37% of successful seedling sproutings. Other large animals also eat the fruit but do not facilitate its seed dispersal to the same extent as elephants. Co-author of the study, Dr. Kim McConkey of the National Institute of Advanced Studies in Bangalore, India, an honorary assistant professor at the University of Nottingham, Malaysia campus, stated that a decrease in the elephant population could have detrimental consequences to the extent of negatively impacting the forest's capacity to store carbon and decrease the effects of climate change. The results of the study have been published in American and United Kingdom-based peer-reviewed journal PLOS ONE. Many thanks for this eye-opening study, Dr. Kim McConkey and fellow researchers. May our gentle giant elephant friends be protected ever more as they continue to bless our world in both known and yet-to-be-discovered ways.